Hi guys, so I just thought I'd do a mini beauty haul. Um, I got a few makeup bits. Um, so yes, I'll just show you what they were. Michael was buying a new electric razor and he said to me that I could have £17 to spend with what I wished and I love makeup so I went and bought makeup. Now I like to, um, instead of going for just one thing for like that amount of money, I like to get as much as possible for the amount I get. So I got a few things and yeah, I just thought I'd show you them. They're all quite on the cheap side, so they're very, very, very affordable. The first thing I got was a makeup remover, and I think this was the most expensive thing out of the whole thing, um, but I needed one. So I got this Garnier Softening Cleansing Lotion, um, Goodbye Dry, because I have dry skin. Um, and I'll see that what this is like. I've never used this one particularly, but I used to love this Garnier cleanser, um, a different one, but I love Garnier in general. The next thing is from Beauty UK and I've never really used this brand. I think I used the one I was like 12 for those glitter eyeliners that used to be like a big fashion. But I decided to get a eyeliner pencil because I've never actually owned an eyeliner pencil before. Eyeliner pencil. Eyebrow pencil. If I ever fill my eyebrows in, I fill it in with a brown eyeshadow. So I just thought I'd give this a whirl and it was like 1.99 or something like that. And it looks like a good colour match, but who knows, I'll definitely have to try it out on my eyes. I got a few things from Makeup Revolution, because I ordered everything on Superdrug, and Makeup Revolution was something that I saw loads of YouTubers like rave about when it first came out, and I really wanted to try it. I was going to buy an eyeshadow palette from there, but I have far too many eyeshadows, so I, I stopped myself, and I'm proud of myself that I stopped myself. The first thing is it's absolutely gorgeous, Revolution vivid baked bronzer in rock on world and i think it's stunning i love the packaging as well because because it's so cheap like i wasn't expecting it to be such good packaging this is a lot darker than i was expecting or like a lot more bronze um as you can see I probably can't see it i'm not going to try and swatch it <laughs> um like i think i would even better get a lighter one but this is just beautiful and Yes, I think this are kind of represent like resemble the Max version of this kind of thing. The next thing is a blusher, and this one is a cream blusher from Makeup Revolution, and it's called Framboy Framboy Shake. I have no idea what the hell that is. Um, and I don't own any cream blushes, and I just thought I'd try it out because I like the whole kind of like natural look. Um, so I got this and it's such a nice pink colour it looks really like vibrant in your face when you first see it but once you like sheer it out it looks beautiful so I cannot wait to try this and the last few things are from NUA and it's another like cheap um, brand that you can get the first thing is just this NUA black liquid liner because mine's is pretty much like nearly ran out now and I kind of want to start wearing liquid eyeliner again um, it's got the kind of brush that looks like it would be good for precision and yes I just needed one of these because the last one I bought was in 2012. This thing is this MUA Lash Boom Volume um, Mascara. Now I'm not, I've only ever tried one other mascara from MUA and I wasn't really impressed but I thought I'd give this one a go because it's got like a cool little brush with like a little um, end that's like that and Yes, I want to see what it's like. If it's not good, then I didn't waste a lot of money on it. So, yes, I'm just going to try that out. And the last thing was only £3. And I am a bit of, like, a foundation. I love foundation. I love, like, just finding new ones. And this was £3, so I really wanted to try it out. And it's the MUA Undress Your Skin. And this one's in beige. Now, I think I probably could have went up the colour above but it doesn't matter this would be good for like the winter i think or when i've not got fake tan on or no tan at all um so yes i'm excited to try this and i'll probably do like a first impression slash like review of this once i've tried it out so yes this is the mua undress your skin if that's all i got for 17 pounds um actually i think it came to like 16 pounds like 30p or something like that but you know i, I like bargains um so yes, that's my makeup haul. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye!